of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And you're all very welcome to our Mass this evening. Uh, Christmas and all the feasts and celebrations over the past months now, Advent and uh, the whole of the Christmas season, all over now, uh, this Sunday, we begin what is called ordinary time in the, in the church. However, uh, we're reminded today that we begin the week of prayer for Christian unity during the week, and today is set aside as the Peace Sunday, where we're asked to pray about this very, very important issue for our world, uh, peace between people, peace at homes and in families. Uh, the uh, uh, first reading for our Mass today from the Old Testament, uh, the response made by Samuel, uh, the young prophet, was, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. We pause for a moment just to think about that and to see if we can if we can make the same response as we gather for our mass this evening. Here I am Lord, I come to do your will. Sometimes we fail to carry out God's will. So we pray now for his forgiveness. O oh Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. O oh Jesus, you came to bring peace to your people. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us now at the Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and to the peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God and Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the only one. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleadings of your people, and to bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. Samuel was lying in the sanctuary of the Lord, where the ark of God was, when the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. <clears throat> he answered, Here I am. Then he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, since you called me. Eli said, I did not call you. Go back and lie down. So he went and lay down. Once again the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. 
So Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, since you called me. He replied, I did not call you, my son. Go back and lie down. Samuel had as yet no knowledge of the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. Once again the Lord called, the third time. He got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am since you called me. Eli then understood that it was the Lord who was calling the boy. And he said to Samuel, Go and lie down, and if someone calls you, say, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord then came and stood by, calling as he had done before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, and let no word of his fall to the ground. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, um, 
Shema Elohim, meaning the one who listens to God. And Samuel went on to become a great leader and prophet, and was the last of the judges of Israel. And today in the Gospel, Jesus tells Simon that he is to be called Cephas, the Aramaic word for rock. In Greek, Petrus. In English, of course, Peter. Simon's life would never be the same. He would leave his fishing nets and his job and his father and he would follow Jesus. And he would be the rock on which the Christian church would be built. And even God's own son, the son of Mary, was no exception. The angel Gabriel told Mary that her son must be called Yeshua from the Hebrew, meaning deliverer or rescuer. In Greek, Jesus, from which we get Jesus. Also, people in religious orders can also change their names. They may be inspired by a saint and they may change their name to that saint on profession of their vows. And our present Pope, of course, Jorge Mario Bergoglio, would you believe, chose the name Francis after St. Francis of Assisi. And his life has never been the same since then. But most of us will not have a name that defines who we are or describe our mission from God. But the important thing is, he still calls us by our name. And the promises made to Israel through the prophet Isaiah are also meant for us. He says, when you go through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown because you are precious to me and you are honoured and I love you.
and the life of the world to come. Amen. God has called us by name and listens to our prayers. So let us pray to him now for all needs, for the needs of our world. We pray for the peace that Jesus came to bring. We pray that that peace will be available to people everywhere. We pray for peace in our own lives and in our families and in our communities. We pray especially for peace where there is trouble and war and violence. We bear in mind especially what happened in Washington over the past week and what might happen in this coming week. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace, hear us. We pray that Christians everywhere will be of one mind and one heart and uh, will regard themselves as being part of the one family which goes to make up the body of Christ. We pray for all those who are working for, to bring about that unity. Lord, hear us. No grace, hear us. We pray for the sick everywhere and all those who are in any kind of distress, that they may know the peace that comes from Christ. We pray especially for the victims, all those affected in any way by the coronavirus. Pray that they will be patient and that they will continue to hope and not lose heart. We pray particularly for those who have responsibility to care for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace, he hear us. And we commend all those who have died to the Lord, all who have died recently from our own community, and those who have died because of that pandemic. Pray for Glenda Smithley, for whom this Mass is offered. Lord, hear us. Lord, grace, he hear us. Now we pray to Mary. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers which we make and grant us the peace that the world cannot give. We make all our prayers to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen.
fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless me, God, forever. from your hands and the praise and glory of his name, our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. <clears throat> Accept all of them to all we pray and in sanctifying them grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realms of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you, his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O oh Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. And therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Patrick, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops and all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you, sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may they glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Save his command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on heaven as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. The Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. The Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us.
Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. All of us, O Lord, in the spirit of your Lord, and in your kindness, make those who have nourished by this one of the new birth, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, during the week mass here at Christ the King on Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock. St. Mary's the other days at uh, one o'clock. And uh, those two intentions, peace and uh, Christian unity, please keep them in your prayers as well during the week ahead. The Lord be with you. Be with your spirit. Almighty Lord. 
bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.